What's up, everybody? Wells Thompson here, co-founder of Soccer Resilience, sitting in my soccer ball chair. I don't know if you can see it. It's actually my son's, uh, but I freaking love it. So I'm sitting in it. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, hit the little bell so you'll be notified whenever we put out a new video, which we're doing just about every Monday. I want to go back, and I know we've already done the, the, the beef test video, but I want to dig a little bit deeper. I want to hopefully give you, add some value, give you some motivation, some inspiration, some, some tips, some strategies uh, that will help you not only uh, um, do well in the beep test, but in the Cooper, but in all of life, because quite frankly, all this stuff translates. And the first thing, guys, which I already hit on this in, in the first video is you can't just show up. You can't sit on your couch for four months and then go do the beep test and expect that you're going to do really well. you got to put the work in. And so again, we're not reinventing the wheel here. Um, I think as, as humans, we want to make things super, super complicated. And it's simple. Kiss, right? Keep it simple, silly. Um, put the freaking work in. Train hard, train smart. Uh, and for me, uh, my go-to training for the beep test was hill sprints. Find a big hill, sprint up as fast as you can, jog or walk down, and repeat. And do that 10, 15, 20 times. And so I just, man, I loved it. I mean, I could go, literally go out and run 50 hill sprints and just have the best time of my life. I know I'm a little different, but you, I think you can train your mind to, to appreciate that and, and, to, and to use that to motivate you because you know that your hard work is going to pay off down the road. That's number one. Number two, guys, is mentally prepare to compete. The beat test is going to suck. It's hard right? It's hard. That's how you grow. That's how you get better through the struggle. And so I knew it was going to hurt, but I also knew that I could lessen that hurt um, by training harder, right? Waking up, waking up early, uh, rain, sleet, or snow, 100 degree heat, like waking up early and putting the work in. I used to, I lived, I used to live on a hill in Raleigh, and so I just wake up early in the morning and I just go run that freaking hill up and down, up and down, up and down, right? And I, and I, and I would mentally prepare that like, I'm gonna compete. And so as a competitor, you are, your true competition is against yourself, but heck yeah, you're competing against your teammates, right? Like, so me for going into preseason, it was a statement I had to make, right? Like I was on trial, I was competing for my job. So whether you're in high school, um, whether you're in club, uh, whether you're in college, whether you're a pro, you're still competing to play. And so everything counts. And so if you have that mindset going into it, um, you, you're going to be better for it. And so um, was I nervous going into the beep test? Absolutely. And so there's a myth that like nerves and butterflies are bad. They're natural. It just means that you're about to do something that matters. So embrace them, acknowledge them, and just let them be, right? The second thing is, um, did I have negative thoughts in my head? You better freaking believe it. Um, and, and so that, I think that's normal too. Dr. Brad will tell you we have, a, as human beings, have a negative bias, right? And so, um, you know, negative thoughts, self-defeating thoughts will come up in our heads all the time. And so again, going back to number one and preparation, if you put the freaking work in, you can just crush those negative thoughts and say, I got this. I'll put the freaking work in. This is what I've been waiting for. I woke up early, I trained in the heat, I trained in the snow, I trained when I didn't want to train. Um, and uh, I'm ready for this. So you just combat and crush those negative thoughts with the absolute truth is that you're ready and you're prepared for this. Uh, I think there's also a myth too, like it, you might be watching this video and be like, yeah, Wells is just a freak. He's always been fit. Um, that's not the case. Like I, I worked at it and I wasn't always fit. I mean, when I went to Wake Forest, there were guys running there were guys running laps around me. I mean, guys like doubling my score in the beat test, Ryan Swain, uh, Evan, um, a lot of guys, I mean, the super fit guys. And I worked at it. I just sacrificed. I put the work in and uh, I was disciplined in that. So if you're struggling with that now, know that you can get better. It just takes work and it just depends on on, uh, on your motivation and, and how bad you want to, to, to get better at whatever it is you're trying to do. And in this instance, it's the beep test. So um, the more you, the more that you can hurt in training, um, the easier to be in the game. And the more you can hurt in training, the easier to be in the beep test. So that's number two. Um, the third thing is motivate yourself. 
right? You have a little time to ramp up during the beep test, so motivate yourself. Make sure you're, you're speaking life and truth. I got this. I've prepared for this. I feel great. Even if you feel bad, tell yourself, I feel great. I got this. And so you'll get into a rhythm and you'll start to focus. And once you see guys dropping off, you'll get, get more and more confidence. And uh, at the end of the day, guys, um, our brains are like a governor for our body, right? A governor in a car keeps us, uh, uh, it keeps us uh, under, a certain, under a certain mileage or going as fast as it's capable of. And so our brains try to protect us, right? They're trying to keep us safe. Um, they're worried about our safety. They don't want us to hurt ourselves. And so um, we can go more than we think our, than we think we can. So when, we, when our brains, it's, it's important to acknowledge that when our brains are saying, oh, you're done or you're hurting or you can't go anymore, just say, I got this. I can. My brain is lying to me right now because it wants to protect me. But I can push through. One of the things that's always motivated me, and I can't remember where I heard it, but it's a Navy SEAL. And they said, um, you know, in the Navy SEALs, we say when you're at your max, you're really only at 40% of what you're truly capable of. So when you're running that beep test, just focus one more beep, one more beep, one more beep. You got this, one more beep. And just keep saying that each after each beep, one more beep, one more beep, one more beep. And, and don't quit and don't give up. And, uh, you know, I think that the last thing just to, to, to relate here, guys, is uh, practice makes progress. So get your hands on a beep test and practice it. And, and uh, is it going to hurt? Yeah, heck yeah, it's going to hurt. But everything worthwhile hurts, you know, and everything worthwhile takes a uh, struggle. So um, you have to decide if it's worth it to you. And so I'll leave you with me winning the beep test again in Colorado. I'm super proud of this. I'm proud of it. Like, I, th I think that's part of it as a pro is, is doing the things that you love to do even when you don't want to do them. Did I, did I love waking up early in the morning all the time and running hills? No, absolutely not. Um, but I forced myself to do it anyway. And I, and, I, and I almost convinced myself to love it. I mean, I just she had that mindset. Have a bring it on mindset, right? Don't allow yourself to speak negatively about the beat test. Like pump yourself up for it. Get excited about it. Motivate yourself. And don't, don't give in and... Uh, and uh, to anybody else's negativity about the beat test, whether it's your teammates, whoever it is, right? Like just say, I got this, I can't wait. I can't wait to embrace the suck, the hurt, um, because it's gonna be worth it at the end. And I promise you, I mean, after every beat test I ran, I always knew I could go one more. So keep telling yourself that. One more beat, one more beat. You got this. Beat test is, it's not long, you know, it's like five, six minutes, but it's, it's very mental and very tough. And, you know, honestly, the one thing I've tried to do is, is, is make no excuses, you know. It's real easy to say, why oh, are we doing this beep test, you know, we're already fit. And why don't we just play some soccer and stuff like that. So, um, try not to make excuses, just try to, you know, do, do the best with whatever's thrown at me. And, you know, everybody's coming in real good shape, you know. I think, uh, you know, the short off season was probably a little bit of that. Um, but everybody's taking care of their body real well, and I try to do the same thing. You know, it's funny. I thought winning might help me relax a little bit, you know, and just be able to breathe, but I was more motivated this off season than I've ever been. Um, I think, a lot, you know, I've talked to a lot of guys, and they felt the same way. So I've dropped a little bit of weight and just, you know, really tried to watch what I've eaten and try to get rest and stuff like that. So I think also being back home with family and loved ones is, is good for the soul and good for the spirit. So. I want to show you my soccer ball. Can you see it? Can you see it? It's like I'm sitting in a little soccer ball. <laughs> Peace, guys. Hope this helps. Rock on.